What's up guys, my name is Alec from Black House Vapor Company and today we are taking a look at the difference between Nick salts and regular or free base nicotines. So those are two types of nicotines. You've probably seen the Nick salt craze. It's, it's everywhere nowadays. Um, generally coming in 24 milligrams, 35 milligrams or 50 milligrams, the higher milligram range versus your original or your free base uh, nicotine is going to be in the three, six, nine up to maybe 18 or 24 but that's really pushing it for the free base nicotines so we're gonna go over in this video kind of chemically how they're different uh, how they're applied differently in in the vape world and what might be best for you so let's get started are you listening damn All right, so let's start with the chemical differences between Nick salts and freebase nicotines. Freebase nicotines are what we've been using basically since the beginning of vaping. They are the most bioavailable way to get your nicotine, and that's why they were the perfect candidate for vaping. And then on the opposite side of that spectrum, Nick salts for a long time have been avoided in vaping because they aren't as bioavailable, because they're harder to permeate through the cell membranes, because they have a negative ion charge, they don't permeate through cell membranes easily, and thusly they've kind of been put to the side and they haven't been used for vaping. Now, recently a company called Pax, you may have heard of them, they make all sorts of herbal vaporizers, they make the Juul, they're a huge company in the vaping market right now. They came up with kind of an innovation to the industry that allowed us to get back to salt mix. They mix benzoic acid in with the salt nicotines to make it more bioavailable. The salt nicks allow us to reach higher nicotine levels in our vape juice without the throat hit that you would get with freebase nicotine. With freebase nicotine, because it's so volatile, as you add more nicotine in, you're gonna feel it a lot more. Okay, so I, I kind of morphed pretty quickly from the chemical side of things into why we would want to use salt mix as opposed to your free base nicotines. So let's get into, at this point, the application of these two different types of nicotines. Now, if you're using a higher wattage device, something that produces a lot of dense vapor, gives you an awesome flavor to it, and uh, is, is really hot, vapes super hot, those are where you're gonna to wanna to use the free base nicotine. That's why you haven't seen anyone using these tiny bottles on an RDA, dripping an RDA, and you probably won't see that anytime soon. It's because for higher wattage devices, free base nicotine just makes more sense. It vaporizes well at a much wider temperature range, meaning you can push the boundaries of vaporizers, you can get more flavor, you can get more vapor density, uh, and you cannot have an overwhelming amount of nicotine entering your body. So that's where free base nicotines come in. The downside to the free base nicotines is they have a little bit more of that nicotine bite to them, so they're going to hit your throat a little bit harder. And as you ramp up your nicotine in the normal free base nicotines, you're going to definitely notice the difference in the throat hit and in the way that it affects you. The application to salt nicks are going to be the lower wattage devices, the easier to use devices, the devices that people are using when they're transitioning from cigarettes to vaping or people are just barely getting into vaping as a hobby, whatever the case may be, salt nicotine is often used to kind of simplify everything because you're allowed to use a much lower wattage, you can create a much less complex device for the end user. All right guys, so free base versus Nick salts. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out blackhousevapor.com for all of these flavors that you saw in this video, many more flavors, devices, anything that you can think that you would need for your vaping experience, you can find at blackhousevapor.com. And if you can't find it there or you wanna come down to the shop and try it for yourself, you can come down to 2148 South, 900 East, Suite 3, and check out all this stuff on your own. See if salt mix might be something that would uh, be better for you. Talk to one of our sales representatives and see what they think about the situation. They can generally help you figure out the best vaping solution for you. Thanks for watching. This has been Alec from Black House, and we'll see you next time.